Hello. Today we are looking at Peter's hand. Hello to Peter's hand. Are you live? We are live. Hey. Do do do. Just waiting for some people to come on. Um. Hey, Peter's hand said Jason. <laughs> see how we are. Yeah, we're gonna find out how crooked we are. Oh, not bad. Not bad. We should out. probably mute your computer. Oh yeah. Just saying. Just saying. Hey, Josh Cutlip, how are you? I took a quick crack sack and armpit shower, so I went. I lost it. Oops. Do do do. So I wouldn't something. There we go. Yeah, so I wouldn't Brown. miss the start. The rest can stay slightly dirty. You know, I have to say, though, Jason, thank you for washing the crack sack in the armpits. Yeah, That's we important. appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Hello, Klaus. Welcome. Hello, Lily. Marcos, how are you today? Let me chat with everybody for a minute. I'm going to go put my contact in. Let's Peter see. can't see, so he's got to go put his eyeball in. Hey, David. Hey, Eggs and Ham. Navy 85. How are you guys today? I am still kind of on hiatus from videos. Um, I have plans to start recording again. It's just, like I said, just been crazy. But I don't want to miss the lives because I love talking to you guys. I love seeing you guys. And, um, yeah, yeah, it, it's been really hot out here. We've been in the hundreds. Actually, today I think we are in the 90s. Hey, Addicted to Blades, how are you? Um, I think we're back down in the 90s, which is nice because I'm getting kind of tired of going for my evening walks at, you know, 10 o'clock at night when it's in the high 80s. Um, well, thank you, Marcos. That's very sweet. Hello, Dane. How are you? Um, so, didn't really have a plan of what I wanted to talk about today, but there is a few things that I did... Um, come across what there do be that indeed. there do be that um so there's a few things that i came across that i did want to talk about because and you know hopefully they're exciting to you but they are definitely exciting to me and you can actually see I that would be we're already married on the that's pretty damn exciting yeah, yeah not down the way from you we scheduled for you're 111 well yeah but you're further out in the valley marcos that's why we're at what are we at today 90 something what it said, but it'll be 100. Yeah, it's it's climbing out there. We're we're actually having an inside day today. So Peter's got the uh, the dehydrator going. Got some uh, some beef on the dehydrator, and then I've got some salmon and some chicken out in the smoker today. So if I do run off for a minute, it's only because I'm checking my smoker. But um, Jigsaw. Uh, hey, Jigsaw, Chris, Russ, how are you? Who we got up to joined? 77. Well, David, I'm coming there because that's nice. It has just been insane. Oh, hey, Jim Shepard, I missed you. And Quentin, how are you? Move this a little closer to the mat. I feel like we're... Move what closer to the, the mat? The camera. I feel like we're really far away. Do we need to get closer to the mat? Here we go. Mm. Just leave it there and we'll see where it settles out. All right, we'll see where this settles out. How's that? Is that better? Don't know yet. Remember, we're behind. So it's going to take a while. We did. We're actually using London Broil. Hey, Chris Wolf, how are you? Did I say hello to you? Hey, Navy 85, how's it going? Clouds. Iowa's cool today. Cloudy for two days. Nebby Cloud said I zoomed in too far. I don't think so. Is it too far? Because it doesn't look too far from here. That's what we're trying to figure out. Use it for chili con carne. <laughs> you and your chili con carne and your asada, carne asada. Nebu Cloud, shame on you. Oh, now, okay, so, ooh, there he goes. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey, I love, Josh, I love, how are you? I love our new, cam our new phones, but God, the way it uses the, the distance camera for lives, and I don't like that at all. Because it's it's really strange because we are about not even a foot from the table right now with, this, with the phone. And it just looks, you know, it looks so far away. It's very hard to, to get used to. And look at, you can see things like 
Here's our toothpick holder. See that? <laughs> little our little Hawaii one. That's kind of over there. Makes it easy for the cat to get up there too. I found tri-tip you know, makes the best turkey. I've never actually used tri-tip. Tri-tip's good too, but I've always found that it makes it a little my tougher. My amazing wife got me an electric meat slicer for my birthday. And so I'll try everything at this point. Yeah, we should yeah. try that. We should try some tri-tip. That'd be good. Got David, or Chris has his hamburger and sausage ready for some spaghetti. Oh, that oh, sounds good. Oh, I miss good. spaghetti. I could make spaghetti. I was going to make you clam linguine. Mm. We have that too. Oh, you just, okay, you're like three millimeters off. That's right. It's too, it's too do you feel better? You do. Is it better? Are you even? But see, how can you tell? Because you have a knife over the numbers <laughs> over here. Turn it around and zoom into that pretty face, Peter. You know, um, that would be up to her. Right now we're attached to the little arm that we use I, for film and stuff, and if we move it, it'll take forever to get it back into position. Maybe I don't we'll, care. We'll I'd turn around it around. Say hi later. Hey, hey John. John. Jinx. That's my <laughs> line. No, that's my line. That's my line. All right. Hey, you sexy beast. Go on. You call him that now. Hey, you sexy beast. Oh, stop. No, he's cute. He's cute. <sighs> then show us that beautiful face, Christine. Here it is. John is my Here favorite. Here it is. John is my favorite angry hippie. <gasps> See? <laughs> <laughs> we'll turn it around a little bit later. Um, Alex, uh, hello to you. How are you today? Smash that like with Zach stuff. What's Russ, up, Russ, I'll Zach? give the tri-tip a try. I, I, I cut it really thin, man. I like uh, almost paper-thin jerky. Almost crispy. So, But I'll give it a shot. It's reasonably inexpensive. You know, Zach, hey, Zach, I think it was Jason who had a really good idea. And the, while I was on... Peter's phone. So my phone was dead. I was listening to the live and I was watching with Peter, but I couldn't say anything because my phone was dead and I had to charge it for the live. Um, but Jason, I think it was you that had the great idea. Oh, was it? He says it's the other Jason. Oh, you left your phone on noise making. That was my watch. Oh, okay. um, that while I was on Peter's phone that I should have been saying stuff because nobody would have known it was Peter. It wasn't Peter. It was me. So I just blew my chance. So upset. All right. So yesterday, um, uh, All my troubles felt so <laughs> far away. Derek from Ohlone Knives was on live. So we popped on really quick just to say hello and see how everything was going. And I had found out some new information. And Kelly Babes in the bikini. I just got two new bikinis. Um, so we're going to move this off the table right now and we are going to move these onto the table and I'm going to tell you why. So these are all Ohlone knives. Not baloney. Baloney. And see, I keep forgetting how much room we have with these new cameras, which is so weird. What's the holster knives? We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. So these are all Ohlone knives. Now, I know that all of you um, know JB and you're all familiar with the Burton. <laughs> the Butron. Butron. <laughs> and uh, we have the, um, the Rodeo. We have the... I'm sorry, I'm looking at the screen. Keep it in your mind for next time. You're so having my QSP penguin, it's still amazing. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, the QSP penguin's really good. Never going to live that one down. JB, that was such an awesome live. I loved that one. Okay, but, so we have got the Butron, the Rodeo, the Goat, the Shark. What was this one again? I'm like totally drawing a blank right now. You said it. Rumson. 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 Okay, so, JB, you're going to like this too. All of these are original size. We'll say it. So, the goat, there's actually now a goat too out there. Mm -hmm. The In talking to Derek this morning, um, the Butron... He is, where's your Butron? It's in my, so, my April. 
he is actually coming out with a large size butron. So right now, this is, well, you can see the length on it. So you're talking, you know, overall length, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven and a quarter inches, seven and a half inches. He's actually coming out with a large size of the butron, and he's coming out with a large size of the, Rodeo. was it the Rodeo? He said the Rodeo and the Goat. So right now, he's got prototypes, I believe he just said, coming in a few weeks for the Rodeo. For the Rodeo. I'm sorry. For the Rodeo, yes. It was th those three. And I was just, just talking to him this morning, so sorry. Just want to make sure. Um, hashtag Burton Excel. Excel. Right. Button. Button lock. Button. Button lock. Autocorrect. Likes button. Yeah, so I'm super excited about these. Now, he is, and, and JB, um, he's going to be at Blade Show West. He's confirmed that with me. He would like me to come visit. And JB, I'd like to take you with me, and I'd like you to meet him because, um, you know, I, I don't know if, whether you've actually talked to him or not, but I've talked a lot about you, and I know that he would like to meet you. And I would love to, you to see the new ones that are coming out. Of course, you know, we're going to be with several people out there. So, Zach, love to have you come along, too. Absolutely. Um, and I believe Peter and I are going to be getting a couple of the prototypes coming out soon to look at. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited for these. Um, I know not everybody has these. The knives run about $260, I want to say. I think they're actually on sale. Some of them are on, sale. Of them are on sale, yeah. And then some of them you can't find, but... Trust me, I am super, super excited to see these new ones. Um, they are so, so worth it. And I believe the Goat 2 was made by... Not to be confused with Goat C. Not, yeah, not right. Goat C, not, not goat, goat, 2. goat 2. But that one was actually um, by Riot. So... Eggs, I don't think they're going to change the dates. Uh, it's so late in the year that if... Look, if, if people can't get their shit straight and do what needs to be done and the Delta variant becomes a real problem. We might have an issue, but I don't think so. <clears throat> I think we're going to see the spike that we've seen. And I think people are going to get their act together and then we're going to be fine for October. Hey, Chicago, Hollywood. Hey, Chicago. Yes, Hollywood. We're going to have a huge meetup. Hey, Newfoundland, EDC. How are you? Uh, Chicago, I already said that. Chris, big red grateful. <laughs> oh... So anyways, you guys, I just wanted to go over that. I just think it's so awesome. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, which I do not have a picture of. and He I, needs to make an extra large shark. I love that. I don't know if he's going to or not. That would be awesome. I love, well, I, you know, much much like JB, I love a good Tanta. Wait, exactly the opposite but of But you know what? There's something tanta. about this Tanta. It's the shape and everything. Which one is that? This is the, the shark. The shark. Yeah. JB, have you seen this one? And would you want to see this one? He'll get through it later. Zach, you're going to go get new ink? I want to go. You guys can go. If yeah. you're serious, I will go. You guys can go get new ink. I'm going to go look at knives. Well, I might. No, I don't think I'll get one in Vegas. I'm near Lake Tahoe on the Nevada side, Hollywood. Nice. Shouldn't be too bad up there. Have not. All right, JB. You you have to take a, You have to check this one out. Now, I know it is Tanto, but it's, it's, it's a, I'm going to call it a soft Tanto. A squishy tanto? I don't know. It's no, just it's soft. It's, tanto. it's nice. Yeah, but it's not as we don't have any other tanto blades up here, do we? No. no. That's actually a really nice little that I can I can hear, let me see. I can hold that knife. You know, I mean because of the neutral shape of the handle, it's it's good even for big hands. I love this thing. Russ, we are in the Tri Valley. Um, we're in San Ramon. I just gave it away. California. Are you in California, Russ? I want JB with his scrap girth ta tattooed on my chest. <laughs> Japanese, Japanese I, yeah. yeah. It's like getting the 940 ink. He should get the Benchmade Butterfly. He already bleeds the blue lube when, he, when they cut right? him. So, oh, that'll just be an oily mess when he's getting ink. What did Nebuclad say? What did I, oh, the grass skirt one. Oh my god, I would love to see that one. That would be hilarious. Now you have to do it, Nebby Cloud. Yeah. And you have to live with JB tattooed on your chest in a grass skirt for the rest of your life. Which oh, is Russ an interesting is in, choice. 
Russ is in Victorville. That's not that far from here. Uh, I had friends that lived in Victorville for about 10 years, man. We used to, when they were still building out there, uh, we used to drive around out there in the desert in our four-wheel drives and then, you know, go back to their place and be stupid and then drive, you know, three and a half hours to get to work in L.A. <laughs> Zach already has the Benchmade Butterfly back piece. Jason says that everybody should get a Peter tattoo, but in emoji form. Well, now, what would that emoji look like? That's a really good question. It's kind of hard to do a balding emoji. They're already bald. That would be interesting. One half would have to be the smirk, and the other half would have to be a frown. That's true, too, because you do do that face. I do that face. Yeah, you do do, 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 do that, that face. face. Um, I do do those things that I do do so well. Yeah, Russ, are you going to be a Blade Show? Who's going to... I know, I, we ask this all the time. I'm sorry, it's just my old memory. Who from this group right now is going to Blade Show? And we know that Zach and JB are going to be there. We know that Hollywood Tactical is going to be there. Hey, Celemansky. Celemansky. Well, I know, but he just sent us out. I still have your knife from the giveaway. But you just gave me your address. That is going out. We got a lot of stuff to pack up, you guys, today. So it will be going out. Um, I'm pretty sure Zach has a butterfly birthmark. Maybe that's why he's so good with Benchmade. Yeah, Russ says there's a half a million people in the high desert right now. So I guess Zach's the only one going to Blade. Nobody else said yes, honey. That's it. It's just going to be you, me, you, me, JB, Zach, and... Hollywood. Hollywood. No, there's lots of people going. I know. Oh, C. Lemansky's going to try and get there. Very cool. Russ. Yes, Russ. We know you'll be there. So hope, hopefully, hoping to meet up with you, too. <clears throat> Eggs, Eggs and ham, and ham yep. are David and, and Katie. This is Eggs and Ham. Do, 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 do. I mean, I suppose, in amongst dealing with all of our raving and wild fans, we'll have time to talk to some of these people. Well, maybe. We are, after all, the headlining act. We are? What, yeah. are, we, what are we doing? Hey, well, Klaus. I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to pole dance, and I thought maybe you could throw knives at me. No, I'll pole dance. You throw knives at me. You're too little. I'd just miss. I'm a bigger target. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, we're supposed to miss. Never mind, we'll do it the other way. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're supposed to miss. Yeah, that would be better. Oh, hey, Mariana, Keeper, Carla, hello. Hey, how are you guys? So we're just kind of sitting around BSing. shooting the shit. Yeah. Um, talking about, for those of you that just popped on, there was just a dog pissing on a can and two stoner rock bands in uh, the John, that's actually when my friends lived there. There right? was one housing tract and a whole bunch of nothing. It was hilarious. Although four-wheeling in the new construction, like, graded areas was super fun. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to spearhead it or not, Hollywood. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. Um, I'm going down having a good time. So Peter's birthday's in July. Mine is in October. We're both turning 50 this year, and we just want to have fun with everybody and celebrate. Right. So... We're, that's where we're celebrating. Well, we're also celebrating in Vegas. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to have a couple celebrations. But we just want to have fun and meet everybody. Maybe we should do a live. We'll do a live from Hello, Vegas. Hello, Mr. Mark. How are you? Wife sent you to the grocery store. Well, where's your wife? Tell her she needs to be on here and carrying a knife. All right, you guys. So for those of you that came on late, just really quick, um, Ohlone Knives exceptionally made knives absolutely Riot, wonderful really fit and finish yeah Riot's awesome um the aloni butron the aloni rum uh, rodeo the uh goat the rumson and the shark and all of these are just i can't go wrong with any of these i absolutely love them and the three that you see here moving these down are all coming out in large size so for larger hands JP says, if Peter and Christine are pole dancing, I'll have at least a C-note and singles to make it rain. I will pole dance for C-note singles. Woohoo! I used to bar dance for $100 tips in the city. At a, that was out loud. Well, I didn't strip, to be fair. 
I didn't strip, I just danced on the bar. Didn't even work there. But I got good tips. Come on, it was worth it. He's shaking his head over there. Listen, let's talk about you, Mr. Man. Yes? No, let's not go there. <laughs> we won't go there. Um, what else did you bring out to me? Oh, the little Best Tech Tulip. I am still, I use these little buggers all the time and I actually still have a couple. Um, these little guys are fabulous. Dangerous. The grass skirt. Oh my God, JB, you bring the grass skirt and I'll bring you the coconuts. And if you don't want to wear the coconuts, then I'll wear the coconuts and you wear the grass skirt. Just the coconuts? Just the coconuts. I mean, I feel like you need three of them then. Well, I'd need something for my butt crack, too. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> Peter and I were bouncers for... Yeah, you guys saw way worse. Okay, JB, but if you're going yeah. to bring a grass skirt, you might have to bring me one, because I can't just do just coconuts. <clears throat> that just wouldn't be right. You put the lime in the coconut. I'm not putting a lime in my coconut. <laughs> John's not comfortable with the, with the direction this combo has taken. <laughs> <laughs> David, our interests are peak now. <sighs> oh, don't make it a might, make it a must. New Blade Show uniform. Plugs the ears. La, 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 la. Holy crap. Banana hammocks, that's what he wears under his... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to talk about that. Sorry, JB. Jason, I was not a lady of the night because no one would pay me back then unless it was by the pound. However, never mind. That won't work now. Yeah, right. Can't walk and type. Uh, is the best tech tulip like 130? Um, Hollywood, I don't know what it is. If you're interested, I actually have a couple. I haven't done a sale for a while, but I do have some knives up for sale. And, and I do have a tulip. And um, contact me. I have a couple of them. I'll give it to you at my cost. Yeah, they're looking. They're about, they're about 126. Yeah, they're 126 on Blade HQ right now. Yeah. So, yeah, just get a hold of me. Who is that? The Irish Survival Podcast. Hello, Irish Survival Podcast. How are you? Peter's a lady of the mid-evening. Yeah, I don't stay up late anymore, so I'm more of a lady of the afternoon. I'm an <laughs> afternoon delight. That, there you go. <coughs> hey, Tim. Monster Racing, how are you? And a sexy one at that. I'm a lunch lady. You know, I'll serve you. Um. <laughs> Anyways, so best tech. This is a great little knife. Um, this is a great fifth pocket knife. Oh, I almost forgot. I went out and I gave up and I bought some men's Levi's. The funniest part about those... Now she really wears the pants in the family. Well, I did anyways, but okay. Um, so these Levi, Okay, men's pockets are <laughs> freaking crazy. I could carry a giant fixed blade in that pocket. I swear to God, I put my hands in my pocket now in those jeans and the 501s. And they go down to almost my knees. I mean, the things that I can carry in my pockets she, now. She looks really good in them, too. They do fit really well, nice. Well, I'm trying to remember. Some of you guys are as old as we are. Did 501s, like traditional, original 501s, were there girl version and boy version? Or did everybody just wear regular old 501s? Because I remember there just being 501s. <laughs> Hollywood. You'll be in Long Beach. Nobody's going to bat an eye at a dude wearing a grass skirt. That's kind of true. They wouldn't really bat not well. No, they would here, right here where we. Well, they're live. gonna bat an eye because he's so handsome. Well, yeah. Yeah, just five. All the girls right? are gonna run up and try and. So there was a get time when girls wore jeans with pockets, and then somewhere along the line, denim companies decided to screw them over and give them these little, thumb deep pockets that are just absurd. Yeah, just five hundred ones. You That's what I right? thought. I didn't think they had different ones either. So here we come forward thirty years. 35 years, and, you know, the idea of women wearing men's, in quotes, pants, everybody freaks out. But I'm like, we used to do that because jeans were just jeans. Now, to be fair, hey, Zenny, how are you? Hey, Mateo, Zenny. Beefer, what's up? What's up? Um, to be fair, the jeans are good, but they sit right on my hip bones, so they're not... They used to. You've just gotten unused to it. I, I think that's the thing, is I think I'm not used to it anymore. Yeah. And they zip. I like the buttons. Well, we can find you 501s. I need 501s with buttons, because I love the buttons. That's true. Lee started the pocket shrinking. Then Lee jeans needs a smack in the head. Yeah, it's stupid. I'm going to have to like alter all my women's jeans just so I can have real pockets. 
You guys remember how when 501s were, back in the old days, 501s came so stiff. Do you guys remember that? They were unwashed. They were super dark blue. They felt almost, they were, they almost felt like leather. They were so thick. I love that. I don't know. Yeah, see now, I love my skinny John, jeans. I love skinny <laughs> jeans. But I have to say that the slim is better than straight leg. I can't do straight leg. I just can't. But the slim, and I don't know. This has turned into a... Who cares? It's turned into a clothing commercial. But, yeah, the jeans are you not... Model, you should model your new jeans and hold the camera up. So I can just show my ass or what? You can face the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Christine, Molly Justin's wife from OCD to EDC has been talking about manufacturing women's jeans with big pockets. I know. I've been talking about doing that, and it's like, it's just crazy. I can't see what that just said. Fashion Corner. That's right. Welcome to Women Carry Knives and Therapeutic Ed. Today is Fashion Corner. Today we'll be looking at Levi's in the traditional sense. Women's jeans versus men's jeans. And what pocket do you prefer? Hey, Donkey Dave. They were better in the old days. These are not 501s. Those aren't 501s. Those are 314s. It says right there. What the hell? 511s. 70s. I get it. All right. You did start it, Christine, because you put... Oh, I put bikinis in your minds. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shrink to fit. To buy them sizes. Four nice sizes sizes too me. big. I manufacture clothes in downtown LA. Women's jeans with big pockets would be huge. Okay. All right. Let's do it, Chris. Hit us up on Instagram. You know what? Honestly, I think that almost, almost 511 style tactical pants, but made for women, but cut for women, with all the real pockets and all the yes. real belt loops and all the real stuff. It is absurd to me that the idea of her being her means that somehow her jeans aren't supposed to be tough and durable and good for outdoor stuff. And But I'm not a girly girl. I need tough jeans. And that's the problem. Right. Uh, I know, eggs, but... Eggs used to wear the women's stretchy pants in my there are, phase. And they don't manage... The, so there's a couple of versions of those. 511 makes a pair that look really good, but they're basically hiking pants. They're thin fabric. Yeah. If you move into their full tactical stuff, then... It just looks like you're getting ready for war instead of going camping. So there needs to be a middle ground, and I thought jeans with real pockets would be that middle ground. It is. I'm going to check the smoker. Because there's smoke, and I want to make sure this not too hot. Oh, yeah, please do that for me. What are we looking at? Um, I have to go know football's back on. Come on, Italy. Woo-woo. Come on, Italy. I'll root for Italy for you. Have a great one, the Irish Survival Podcast. Thanks so much for joining us. A little over 225. 225 is okay. Yeah, as long as it's smoking, we're good. Sorry guys, we're we're in the middle of smoking some food and making jerky and just kind of just kind of having a day at home today, which we never have. Right. Ego wears yoga pants in his current soccer mom phase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like yoga pants. I love yoga pants. They are. No, you like my yoga pants. I just or you like, like in me general. in yoga yeah, pants. Yeah, I like you. In, yeah, everybody should wear yoga pants. Buy men's and sit in cold bath. Yeah, that would definitely work. I don't know. So anyways, I do have some men's survival ones. I'm super happy with them. I've got pockets now. I can throw... Oh my god, I'm just going to have to carry all kinds of knives. Think of all the knives I can buy at Blade Show now if I wear those. You show me all your pockets? <gasps> well, you'd be like some of these guys that post on my What's in the Pocket video. They're carrying like six knives at once. Yeah, I know. I have a wallet, my keys, a knife, and my watch. And I, some people are like, I'm carrying seven knives today. I'm like, do your pants fall down? Like, how do you even do that? Hollywood rocks the best PJ, PJ pants. pants. Hands down. So what, okay, so Hollywood, what is, you said nobody makes women clothing for non-girly girls. Jeans are jeans, in my opinion. But what, um, like, I miss a good pair of cargo pants. Oh, he grabbed the, the new mirror. Suspenders. Ew, no. I have 43 knives on me. You're tactical, JB. You skipped right over tactical and landed square in tactical. Right. Get some 5'11 pants. Well, that's what we were talking about is getting some 5'11 pants, but I need... Well, we'll go over that. We'll just... We just totally went, you know, down yeah, the rabbit hole on that one. That's okay. Let's look at a knife. Who wants to look at a knife? What are knives? They sound dangerous. I prefer spoons. We have a tactical spoon somewhere. Somewhere. We do. We do. Yeah. Yeah. So, gang, this is something new from the folks at Migaron. This... I want to get overalls, JB. 
Sorry. You look cute in overalls. I know. We just haven't found a cute pair already. I could finally wear overalls. I have less gut. I can. I wouldn't look like an overstuffed. I love overalls. They're yeah. so flipping cute. I'm gonna get me a pair of overalls to wear down to Blade West. You should see what you did, JB. Gosh darn it. When it's hit super in the nose, it's gonna be cut very differently. Yes, that is the problem with the five hundred ones. Is I have long legs. So I mean, not super long, but um, they sit in an interesting, on my hips, in an interesting area. Um, army surplus shops. Why are we? He said that he doesn't like knives. Show me a cup. So there's oh, a cup. Here, we got a water bottle too. You hit the knife with your mean old cup. What? Ever. And you know what? Look, I left water spots on the mat. Who's Matt? Well, oh, we won't we won't talk about him. Okay. Tell us about this knife, Peter. So that's the new Megaron Pagos. P A G O S. Uh, uh, Pagos is I is uh, Greek for ice. And I know that because I named this knife. Uh, which was really cool. In fact, I named a couple of the new stuff coming out from Migron, which I thought was super fun. Uh, it's M390. It's running on bearings. It's Check out the size. It's really good. It's perfect for you. It's a little small for me. Do you want me to touch it? You can touch it if you want to. Okay. okay. Can I play with it? You sure? Yeah, this is a really good size. Super comfortable on hand. I love the, uh, what would you call that, chrome or gold or... Just the kind of bronzed out little bit bronze. of color. That, so that's just a Migaron thing, and I argued with him about that because I thought this knife would look good all blue. I like that, though. I like it because it just gives it that extra little pop of color. JB's not a fan of those yellow pivot collars. Whatever. Chinese knives. I'm out voting you guys. So somebody actually, when I posted this, said, that looks like it's made by Riot. And I have to tell you that if you pick up one of the Ohlone knives, it feels like it's made by Riot, but it isn't. Oh, <laughs> also look at my key, huh? Um, the distance between... <gasps> my, and this thing's only 189 bucks. The distance between really nice, sort of almost budget Chinese knives and high-end Chinese knives in manufacturing quality is narrowing all the time. That's a front flipper. It is a front flipper, but the thumb studs also work super well. And they're out of the cutting path. I really like them. Well, that's knives. what I was just doing. I can't... It's a little bit large for me to flip without oh. okay. taking a finger off. I'm just having an issue with, with uh, front flippers lately. What was the weight what for, JB? Wait, what, what, who, where? Wait, what? Wait, what? The price? What? Yeah, they're $189. The TS-49? I'm sorry, what? Uh, what? It's Wait. way bigger. Yeah. Way, way bigger than the TS-49, and after that, they're not very similar at all. <laughs> That's okay. So why, do this... you, why, does, why do you guys think it looks like a Tucson? What on it makes you think it looks like a Tucson? Tucson has never in their history done a bead blast on a blade that's this good. You can see the milling on the... I don't even know where the camera is anymore. Where are we? We're over here. There we are. Oh, okay, you talked about this. Right you had, JB, you had a, a series of sort of mid-range budget, you know, Chinese-made knives, and they had similar to this yellow pivot collar for sort of no reason. It didn't match the rest of the knife, and it was just kind of there. It was in one of your reviews, and it's always sort of stuck with me, because I don't think you're wrong. But uh, the folks over at Migaron, there are three budget knives coming out from them in DC-53 steel, which I'm really excited about, and another knife about this size. Oh. Um, yeah. The weight what was about you saying that was something right, about the yellow one, JB, and I'm like, yeah. yeah. Hey, D2, happy Sunday to you. So oh, no, man. I like it. I like the milling on the uh, on the handle. Their carbon fiber is the inlay is perfect. I mean, you can't even feel it. it no, it's just... it's really good. And the funny thing is, Sam, the guy who made this or designed it, was upset because to him the the carbon fiber wasn't perfect. Right. And yet, I've had this thing for two days now, and I don't get it. You can't. But I mean, I you love, can't feel it anywhere. No, it's... I love that he's that picky because that. You know, but you guys, some of you have seen the reviews. Some of the, my friend, you know, my fellow channels are doing on my other two Migron knives, the Centurion and the uh, the Prayer. Those are big, giant knives. Uh, they're not uh, DC fifty three. Paul, it's uh, hey Paul. 
it's like Super D2. I don't know how else to explain it. It's got more uh, chromium in it. It's got a little more nitrogen in it. Um, it's be better rust and stain resistance. It is a finer grain, so it's a tougher steel. I had to look it up myself because I had never heard of it, which is why I'm excited about it. I'm all for new blade steels. Bring it on. So, JB, I see what you said about Nelly. Remind me to tell you my story when we're down at Blade West about the whole radio thing. You and your sultry voice. Uh, that's a good way to say it. It's an improved form of detail. Yeah. What would Zach say? If anyone knows an Xfinity technician wants to come over for dinner, let me know. Oh, you still having issues with that? All right, we're going to road trip up to Zach's and fix his, fix his. internet. I'm going to be his cable repair guy. Yeah, we'll buy you a pair of overalls. overalls. I'll wear just the overalls. That'll be great. <gasps> oh, I can't believe you're still having issues. You know, it's funny because one of my guys at work is having issues with his Cam Comcast right now, but... It's... Actually, Klaus, uh, real quick, I want to say, in some of the knife-making uh, forums that I check out when I'm looking for a new steel, they were calling it D3 because it's DC3, so they were just shortening it to D3 instead of D2. So, yeah, that's... It's close. Zach only gets one channel. Is it the one on uh, Labor Day weekend that shows, what was that? What was that marathon? Like when you didn't have TV and you could only get one channel. It was either on Labor Day weekend or Memorial Day weekend. Oh my God, I have no idea because I never only had one channel. And it was like, <laughs> oh my God, it was wear a kilt, Pete. My, my parents figured out early that if they gave me cable, I'd stay in my bedroom. So hey, I've had Tom. cable since I was a little kid. Jevin's knife attic life. Hello to you. Yeah, anyways, there was some marathon. It was a... I keep wanting to say Larry King, but it's not Larry King. Oh, you mean the, the talk show? The, the uh, It's like an infomercial. Yeah, I don't remember. Anyways. See, weird things come up. I don't know. I was a cable guy for 13 years. Are you Larry the Cable Guy, or are you Crazy the Cable Guy? Because there's two very distinct Cable Guy right. options in our world. <laughs> yeah, so he says he's got one channel, but his internet works great. Then you have all the then channels. Then you have to just watch everything through your internet. Jerry Lewis Telephone, is that Yes. It? Oh, my God. That's it. That's it, JB. We used to go every year to um, a relative's, and Relatively speaking. they only had one channel and i can't remember if that was a labor day thing or if it was a memorial dare but oh my god that was the only thing on tv and it was just like oh wow it was it was a little much a little much what else did you bring out here mr therapy oh somebody asked about your fixed blade which one that one yeah did you bring it you only have one out here yeah that's the hard oh one. this is the off-grid knives one this is I love this thing. Yeah. This little bugger. This needs to go camping. Yeah. This thing is just, I'm all just banging on. This thing is awesome. Oh, Nellie got the answer. Good job, Nellie. Thank you. Hey, is Nellie going to come to Blade West with you? I need my girl to hang out with. Hello, SOBX Scooter. It requires a reboot on your end. I bet they tell you to reboot that all the time, don't they? Sometimes that's so annoying when that's all they do. Just remember, I mean, turn yeah. it off and turn it back on again as the technician's version of I don't know what's wrong. Wow. Anyways, what was this one? What was the name of this one, hon? It's the Hoglet. That's just the new version. Yeah. The V2 with, uh, with the G10 it's scales. It's got some heft to it. This thing is just... I wish they'd make that in a... in a. It's D2. I wish they'd make it in a stainless because then, you know... I want to see this one in a... No, Nellie is not coming. Aww. Well, then we're going to Washington to said to hang out with Nellie. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Change plans. We're going to go hang out with Nellie. Are you kidding? She's like, I'm going to have the house to myself. Everyone right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what did you bring out? Oh. That's the Grizzly. Yes. Uh, I just did a review on this. This is their new camp slash field slash kitchen knife, and I love it. It's basically a Santoku, Santoku style blade. Hey, Hag 90. But just in a big chopper cutter. That thing is awesome. That's actually true, Eggs. Anytime you talk to a company and you tell them you are not happy and you want credits for this or that, everything starts working. 
That is a big knife. Yeah, it's got a synthetic sort of rubberized handle material. It really is designed by them to be a field kitchen knife, and I love it. Now it looks like it would be much heavier than it is. Well, look how thin the blade steel is. I know. I mean, it, dude, and it's a two. It's, it's over crazy. a two inch blade. Like the drop is, it's two inches. Yeah, if we go this way. And it so it comes down to a razor's edge. I've used it in the kitchen already. It is fan freaking tested. Where do we have the scale anywhere near? It's over there. I'm just amazed at how it's, they can how see that light. In my review that goes live next week. Oh, you have the review coming up on this one? Yes. I'm not reviewing that one, but I'm reviewing this one. And you review the hoglet? Yeah, I like the hoglet. Yeah. I could review that one. Of course you could. You could slice it tomatoes. It is super nice. It really is nice. That's really cool. What did Big say? I don't know. A lot of tool steels yes. are close, like Rex 45, D2, M4, all close. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Klaus, the funny thing about D2 is it's a great steel. I, I, I it would be stupid to say otherwise. But as a knife collector and a channel and a knife reviewer with channel, both of us, for a while, everything was D2, and I'm just emotionally sick of it. <laughs> it's not in any way, it's a fantastic steel. I'm just tired of saying, and it's in D2. But that's okay. Grateful Paniculus. Oh, Panicus. <clears throat> well, I was trying to go back up and see D2 burnout. Yeah. In, in the end, particularly for reviewers, uh, you know, anytime a particular material is used ad nauseum, it, fatigue is real. It doesn't make it any less good. It doesn't make it any less awesome for what it's for. Right. It's just tiresome to keep talking about. What's it's, up, Manny Z? I forgot to charge phone. It happens. Scooter. I'm going to just go with Scooter. We're going to send you on missions to only get your future knives from Bed Bath & Beyond. If Bed Bath & Beyond carried knives, I would go there more often. They have good stuff at Bed Bath & Beyond. I didn't mean to... Me and Daniel, hush up you. Are you telling me to hush up? No. Who said hush up? Daniel, I didn't mean to burn y'all out. He's not actually D2. That's just the abbreviation for his name. He's being cute. Yeah. So I said, hush up, you. Don't tell him to hush up. You'd be nice. Uh, you hush up. Listen. I'm listening. Do not tell him to hush up. Okay. You'd be nice. I am super fucking nice. I am an angel. Yeah. I am the sweetest human being you've ever met. And I'm never a bitch. Now we're just both lying. I know. Okay. Okay. Hobby Lobby has great storage ideas. Yes, they do. So does Pinterest. They have some great storage ideas. I have. We have all kinds of different things to make storage around here. They do forget. The edge testing channels have shown off that D2 punches above its weight. That's true. The, the gaggle of knife nerds that really thrive on that stuff really spend a lot of time doing that. Like I said, it's great steel. I can't argue with any of that. I just... I'm ready to start saying something else in reviews. What's the Christmas one? I'm Mr. Heat Miser. You know that song? I do. I You're Mr. Nice Guy. I'm, I'm Mr. Mr. Nice, nice guy. guy. She's Mr. Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> can you ask Hang about me. the cat? You sure can. Where is... Oh, the cat's sleeping right now. So, shh. You can ask about him. His name's Jared. Christopher Tanks has he joined us. He is a... Wow. I have not seen that name for a while. What is Tanks up, for the Christopher? Memories. What's your question about the cat? Who is peacefully sleeping and not on the table. Which is really unusual. And the dog is actually peacefully sleeping below. Why is everybody sleeping? Because it's hot. hot out. Yeah. We should be sleep. <gasps> we should go take naps. I'm down with that. Sorry, we guys. Can... We got to go. It's yeah, we got to go. Well, sorry. Anyways, David Iverson, they need to give out medals for the Leaders of Tears per no minute more. shed. That's a nice guy. No more. Yeah, that's it's a good song. <laughs> Why are detent ramps more common? Because it's an extra step in manufacturing that costs everybody money and time, and if you get it wrong, it's sloppy. So a lot of knife companies would just rather have the detent ball get pushed up out of the way by the knife than cut a ramp into the blade. John's being a little testy over there. He's all trying to call a kitty. You know what's a good thing? We don't have sound. You're kitty, kitty. You're kitty, 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 kitty. That's yeah, he's tired. He's not even picking up his head. Um, okay. So, I don't remember who it was that asked about the fixed blade, and that was a little while ago, but we had to show those. So, yes, again, 
you know, I've just been busy, so I've been doing reviews. I'm starting to get them done, so you are going to start seeing them. I think I will, I think I am going to actually review this one. Because this has been a great little kitchen knife, too. Yes. Or a kitchen implement machete for me. <laughs> you know, like when I banged it and you said don't bang it. Bang, bang. I, I did bang it a little hard, to be fair. You just use your hard banger. I know. Yeah. Wait. We'll just let that one go. Yeah. Okay, do you have a sheath for this one, Mr. Therapeutic Edge? I do, Miss Women Carry Knives. Kitchen chopper. All right. Mr. Therapeutic has brought out. Said, wah! I have brought him. Brought him. Done been brought Damn. She found the stitch. The We're in trouble snap now. Snap on that one. Wah! Wah! <laughs> 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 Whoop. Some, some channels do lives that are super, like, interesting and informative and thought thought out and thoughtful, and then there's just us. We got 15 minutes till we go live, honey. What are we going to do? Welcome to Jackass, the live. <laughs> Nothing fun. <laughs> Chow! <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, shh. No. Nope. Oh, no. All that, and she doesn't do anything until... Chow. <laughs> he says, tell Jared I say hi. I've forgotten how to bang. Oh, that's sad. She bangs. She bangs. That was a good song, too. Uh, Josh, that is the Microtech Stitch. It's a Borka design. That is the best automatic knife ever made by man anywhere for any reason. You absolutely have to hang on to this puppy. No, John, I don't want to have to have somebody put you on, on mute for a little bit. 300 seconds. Here we go. We're going to have to mute you if you keep calling the animal. John, are you going to Blade West? I don't think his ankle uh, monitor will allow him to travel that far from his house. Oh, that's right. It's only 10 feet from the house, right? right? He popped in and popped out on Race 38. Say his name three times in the dark bathroom in front of a mirror and he will appear. <laughs> Candyman. 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 Oh, sorry. Wrong. That knife is so illegal up in here in Canada. Yes. Technically, it's it's a funny situation here in California. I can own it. I could sell it. I can buy it. You can carry it in the house. I just can't carry it out in the world, technically. Yeah. But I do not, of course. Yes, uh, do. I carry it all the time. The, I mean, I literally have to hang on to this thing. I'm hanging on to the clip when I open it, because it is just the snap on this. Oh, my God. I'll get the LUDT for JB. Yep, he's going to get you the LUT. <laughs> LUT it. Have y'all tried the Roosevelt? I have not. So you're saying you like it? Are you asking me if I like it? I just... God, this thing is a freaking tank. It is insane. Yes, I like it. It is... different in so many ways. Um, you know, your blade shape, your hand... I don't know. It's There's something about it that just screams carry me. And... I could put this in my new men's 501 jeans, no problem. Here's the EDT. Wow. And then I brought baby size because it's a Calmigo. <laughs> I love the Calmigo. That one's so cute. But you know what? Even this one. That's very snappy. It's super snappy for its size. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, check out the backspacer on it. On which one? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. it oh, it's insane. Line. Yeah. It's beautiful. So Beautiful. I would love to have an actual, like a manual version of this, but that would in, that would mean getting an actual Borka made folder, and those cost twenty five hundred dollars. So probably not. Oh, you know what it is? Is they just their knives just. Oh, Microtech. God, they just fire yeah. out. I love it. Protech does a pretty good job too, but Microtech. So I don't love Microtech out the front. I know I'm going to get burned at the stake for that, but there's too much blade rock for me. They're tough. I know they're actually tough, but I just don't like the way they feel. But the Microtech Sidefires are my fav two of my favorite knives in the world. Hey, Top Dog. Hey, Top Dog. Um, that's so funny because he said check out the backspacer on it. And I read the comment, but I didn't even see who it was, so I apologize. Nelly wants Tom that. still has a pair of Nelly fun. wants what? The little Calmigo? It's cute. We need to get Nelly a Calmigo. They're hard to come by. Yeah. Because they sell out constantly. They're never in stock. We'll keep our eyes open for it. I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I can 
Well, maybe you get a hold of a protect dealer. Built for Navy guys, really. And you're a Navy guy. It's, you're supposed to love that knife. It's. I think it's actually part of your training. You go to boot camp, and then you go to love microtech LUTD camp, and then you go to actual into the field, right? Well, you have to say. Oh, no, the stitch. Yeah, man. So I, uh, I have a lot of autos, actually. I've got about 12 of them in various forms and sizes. But that stitch is always on my table for carry. And I carry it a lot. Now, when we went to the 4th of July experience that we had with some friends out here in Dublin, I did not carry it because that's a situation where the cops were likely going to show up. They didn't, but it just felt like a stupid extra risk. So that stayed right. home that day. But it goes in my pocket all the time. SOCOM Elite Mini Folder. Uh, I would love a SOCOM if they just stopped making it tip down carry. I understand why it is. See, Nelly loves a stitch too. Oh, yeah. Well, it's see, Nelly, you should just come to Blade Show West and hang out. We can go, you know what? We can have a day where us girls can just go shopping. We can leave the men to their knives. Yes, we I can. Know. That'll be so much fun. No, and Nelly, you and oh. I can go shopping and, and we'll bring down the Calmigo and the Stitch for you to play with. And um, Jigsaw, yeah, the Calmigo yeah. is California legal for carry. It's uh, yeah, two it's inch because blade. it's a two inch blade. Yeah, a little, slightly below two inches. Yeah. But you can't, I mean, Protec, I love Protec. I really do. Hey, Paper Tiger. Hey, Paper Tiger, how are you? But yeah, the stitch, I mean, for, I'm just going to call it funky, because it really is funky looking. And yet, it's totally but unique. it's so freaking awesome. You can get the and blade just, down on the table before the handle. It's, wait, you can wait, even wait. use it in the kitchen. And it is very stabby. Oh, funky. it is so stabby. I love it. All right. My goal is to find, try and find... Do we know a Protect dealer? Do I know one? Yeah, but she wants the stitch. Right, but people are asking about the Calmigo, too. So I'm going to try oh. and see what I can do to reach out to people and see if um, I can find we some... We know people at Protect. We Cal probably... Protect we do, but Microtech I don't. No, and you can't really talk to Microtech right now. They're not recovered from COVID yet, so... Can you show that knife Peter named? It's sick. Oh, yeah, the, the Pagos. Yes. See? Waka waka. She's funny, folks. She's on she's on stage all week. Don't forget. I to would love to see a blue LUT, Zach. I agree with you. They make one, don't they? They make all sorts of colors. Do Green, they make blue? Red. I'm sure they do. Oh. Do they make purple? Oh maybe it is more purple than blue. Maybe it's blurple. Blurple. I don't know. This one, uh, who asked for it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Funky, cool, Medina. Okay, now I'm going to get that stuck in my head. Oh, Christopher Tanks. Yeah. This is the one you wanted to see, right? Have a dealer in Modesto that carries Protex most of the time. Well, if I was a dealer, I'd carry Protex too. Oh. Not that kind, right? <laughs> it scared my tail. <laughs> oh, my God. I have a Boker Stubby Strike that I carry in California. I carry the Calmigo in my fifth pocket sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I've carried but, the Calmigo in my regular pocket. You know, pocket. look, I'm 50 years old. I don't get in bar fights anymore, and I don't really give a shit what people think. So I tend to carry my autos. Um, I don't, at this age and the world I live in, if, if I don't want to interact with the police, for instance, I just don't. So I don't worry about it. However, for most people, I can't. it's not advice. You got to be careful. Follow the laws. You follow your local laws. My side gig. <gasps> Everybody's always looking for a side hustle. I love that little thing. That's a great knife. Yeah, I it really is. There. No, it's perfect. It's perfect, right, JB? See, this would be good for JB too. He'd like it. And it's light. Yeah, no, he would I do mean, a really good job. Really surprisingly light. I was not expecting that. I'm just I'm really in love with this one. The next knife is the Karaki, which is Greek for Raven. That's dropping in about a month. Oh. Karaki. Karaki. Yeah. What else do we have to look at, Mr. Therapeutic Edge? I what oh. uh, well, we've got a a full tie uh, ace biblio that I borrowed from someone to review just because it looks fun. Who would you borrow that from? Deepak. He bought, got it as part of a collection that he bought to sell. And we've got the Mini, 
Old Guard, which I got from our friend John. I love you guys. Look at this and the, pattern. Uh, is that not gorgeous? Primordial Mark One. Hang I on, hang on. I'm showing this. Oh, I see. Look at this show. pattern. It's Rainbow. gorgeous. I don't even think I'm getting it right on this light. Oh, my God. Yeah, Russ. The thing is, man, is that in California, I mean, at least in Northern California, the discussion that I have had with law enforcement goes like this. They don't give a shit either. However, it is an add-on charge, which means if you get caught doing something else stupid, they will add that charge on to what's going on. So don't do stupid things. Yeah, you can't. I have... You government know, passes for different companies that we work for. Play stupid games. And you can't, you know, you got to go through security checks and everything. So if you're going to get, if you're if you're going to be dumb about something, then yeah, you're going to lose your license. Yeah, you're gonna no, lose again, your... Zach, I'm not giving legal advice. People need to follow the laws of their Absolutely. areas. Absolutely. I'm just telling you my own personal experience and what I've been told and what's been said to me. Oh, but... Italy won. Woo-woo. Sorry. That's awesome. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Prizes? Win stupid prizes. That's right. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. So I really like this full tie biblio a lot. We have the micarta version, and I'm not a huge fan, but the full tie bibli uh, biblio at the top there is, is really nice. That is the Mark I, I love that. That I yeah, borrowed that from clip. John. John, I have not managed to do the ugly duckling. She's so Bethel. <laughs> yeah, this knife has been fixed. That is not a stock grind. No. Uh, the blade has been acid etched or acid washed. Um, lots of little things have been done to this, and I'm down with it. I like the way it looks better than I've had a Mark Two, had a Mark Two and a Mark Three, and I keep selling my Primordial Knight, my my Purvis blades because they just in the end they're just not quite right for me. But I really like that a lot. Oh, you can spy click that one. Yeah. So you've got your biblio. I have my biblio somewhere. <laughs> I'm glad these are your knives. <laughs> not mine. Oh, wow. Ooh, that one's stiff. You have not played with that one for a while. Talk to John. It's his knife. This one is? Yeah. John, play with your knives. That's a little stiff. That's that's like a really tight pivot. Yeah, MK1 need... needs a flipper. Like they put on the Mark 3s, yeah, or Mark 2s or whatever. Yeah. This just needs to be... You need to loosen your pivot a tad. That's very... Or... You saying John is a tight pivot? John, your pivot's so tight. John, I hear you have a tight pivot. The MK1 needs a flipper. It needs some lube, and I can't even look at that. The MK1 is good. The, no, yeah. This one. This one needs. Ugh, I can't even flip it open now. See? I'm not sure why you can't open that. It's stiff. Push up instead of out. I am pushing up. Okay. Just thought. You. My poor little finger's so sore from playing with knives. <laughs> it's so sad. Stitch giveaway. Yeah, can't wait. Doesn't it usually get stiff when keep, you play keep, with it? Keep not waiting. I know, That's but in happens. this case, JB, for some reason, it's getting stiff when you don't play with it. Or maybe it's just broken. I'm proud of my tight pivot. I bet you are. <laughs> I love these conversations. Oh, stop talking about John's tight pivot before he gets a big head. Here, let me see a piece of that, Mr. Therapeutic. You want now? Give me a piece. You know, like a... Okay, so I asked Mr. Therapeutic Edge there, who's making jer jerky, give me a piece of jerky, and he hands me this. Itty, bitty, tiny piece. That's what I had in my hand, woman. Where's the salmon? I don't know. You guys, we're all over the place right now. We're just having fun. It done growed. Oh no, John. Hey, you redacted, how are you? So you're saying it's stiff and it needs lube. What are we talking about again? Mmm, smoked salmon. Your yeah. imagination. Actually, I wanted to play, but okay. I'm sorry. There'd be good just handing me a piece of jerky and some smoked salmon. Woo! So I made three different kinds. I made I'll show you guys. <laughs> Here you go. Smoke some jerky today. Or salmon. Or right, salmon. This one is a soy sauce with ginger. 
and a little hot sauce. This one is a rub, which has too many different things in it, but it's really good. And this one was the, what was the other one? Mustard and something? Yeah, it was Dijon mustard, salt, and pepper, something totally different. So, anyways, just decided to do something different today, throw some salmon on the smoker. I wish you guys could taste it. It's phenomenal, phenomenal. Super yummy. We still got some chicken out there. So we'll be taking that off today, too. Smoked meat. You know... Something about it. <laughs> ever have smoked eel? No, I like eel, but I've never had smoked eel. But I am... What kind of salmon? That was Atlantic King salmon. Coming up on 250. You want me to turn down a little bit? Um, what time is it? I've got about two hours on the chicken. We'll probably leave it for right now. I can check it in a minute and we'll see. Loved the video. Gonna turn into a thing. What video? What video? Yep. A OTF smoker's box. I thought OTF only for fidgeting. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought too, Hollywood, until I got a hold of a Heretic Manticore X. And that has no blade blade. It feels like a real pocket knife when it pops open. Zenny, the kokanee salmon's really good too. It's a complete, to me, it's a different flavor. Apparently, we need to try smoked eel. I've never had, oh, I've had eel, but I've really never good. tried smoked eel, so we need to do that. Dalika video. I like to smoke salmon, but it's hard to keep it, hard to keep lit. But waha! But um bump. <laughs> hey, Shane. What's up, Shane? You're not late, man. We're just sitting here talking about. About Shane. Everything. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're kind so, of all over the place. Nice people are the best people. Well, they're awfully knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's so knife of you to say. Right. I'm just sitting here and talk. I cannot choose this piece of jerky down. Mouth full of food. Well, I know. How Once rude, huh? Here, I'll take over. Okay, you take over for a minute while I go get... I'm going to um, steal this bug out from Christine. Did you just, like, push me out of the way? Yeah. I'm going to steal this bug out from Christine, and I'm going to get the uh, new titanium scales for it, because this is the CPM 20 CV Wait, blade. Wait, what? What? Yeah, I'm, I'm... No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. So that's hap Apparently that's not happening. Anybody got a spare one of these I can have? Notice how I said have. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this thing. Uh, I really do. So what should we talk about now that she's gone outside? Oh, is Zach leaving? Bye, Zach. Thanks, bud. We really appreciate you, man. Stiff meat and smoked knives. <laughs> so, John, uh, talk us through what happened to this thing. The Primordial Mark I here. Um, I'm guessing that somebody dropped it. Yeah, Russ, I would love to put a set of those on this CPM 20 CV. This is one of the originals, though. This is a bit of a collector's item, so I'm not going to mess with this one. But I will find myself one of the CPM blades, 20 CV blades, and do that to it. Okay, so I'm hoping that we can... She's actually out of the room, so I just want to say the following. For everybody that's going to Blade West, I am hoping to do something special for her when we get there, and i got to stop talking about it now. Okay. No. I don't know what you're talking about, but no. See, she always says no first. I'm out there checking on the chicken. Chicken jagger. And you're... you're ta oh, see? Now he's out. Oh, good morning, but sleepy that's boy. A, we're good. Good morning. Let's Say hello. Close the sharp objects. Close the sharp objects for the kitty. All right, you guys. Where is the um? Where is? I don't know. I love this knife. I really do. Derek has such a good eye for design, and Riot, of course, does really good work for him. This thing is fantastic. I don't know, she's walked away again, and I'm left here wondering what to talk about. It had an accident. Yeah, you know, clearly, but somebody put a little bit of a smile on the back end of this grind. Oh, there he is. There's the kitty. Hi, kitty. The cat is awake. Nope. Oh, and, and rubbing on the camera. Don't. 
Oh, here we go. Look out! There's the kitty. <laughs> What's doing there? Ooh. I'm gonna give stuff away. What's that? Who wants? Who wants? Who wants free stuff? Giveaway stuff? Did you really? You're just gonna sit right there. Okay, look over here. What is this? This is. Well, it's a Kershaw. It's an AM4. Oh, I didn't know we even had one of those. We do. It was given to me by somebody. Oh. You're going to give away the Kershaw AM4? I'm going to give away two. Because I'm feeling a little bit generous today. And I'm not going to flip this on the camera until the kitty goes somewhere else because we do not want the kitty to get stuck. Bye, kitty. All right, you guys, so you're going to get a Kershaw AM4. And Top Dog wants a cat. Nope, we're not giving the cat. Somebody see, I see a rhino hiding over there. He's going to jump back up. He is going to jump back up. Oh, he's going to go on your chair. That's okay. And, and a rat, too. Because I'm feeling kind of generous today. And I feel bad because I've not been putting out video, videos. But you guys have still been faithful. And I think that's super awesome. And no, the giveaway is not the kitty. We can't. Oh, this cat's just too awesome. We cannot give him away. I've lost the pen. So, we're looking for a pen. So perfect. We are so organized. We're really not. So, CK, gosh, if you win again, if you're sure, C. Lamansk, if you're still here and you win again, we'll just put everything together. So, like I said, you guys, um, I see you over there. I want you to come here. Are you talking about the kitty? Yeah. No, we don't hurt the kitty. How many people Kitties, are watching right now? Uh, 47. You want to pick the numbers today, Therapeutic Edge? Sure. Therapeutic Edge is going to pick the numbers. So as I said, brand new. Got this beautiful rat too. Carbon fiber. So pretty. And the AM4. Assisted, by the way. This one for those of you that don't knife. It is assisted. So you will. Hey, snapped. How are you? Don't forget to text me the number. Okay, Russ, you just hang on. I'll just text that right over to you. All right, you guys, so we are going to do, okay, we are going to do one number, same as everybody else, one number, one number, only closest to without going over is going to win. Yes, the rat one is absolutely bigger. So this, in my hand, you're seeing, I have small hands. This is the rat too, so it is a smaller knife. So for some of you, that, it may that be, is the rat one. I'm, is that a this rat is the rat too. The rat mm -hmm. one is the bigger one, yeah. Does that have carbon fiber scales? Yes, it does. My goodness. You obviously haven't seen this one yet either. No. Huh? He has not seen me. my stash of giveaway knives, apparently. That's why I have giveaway knives. <laughs> because he hasn't seen them. All right, you guys. One number, one number only. Closest to without going over is going to win. And JB or Zach. No, JB, Zach is I, gone. Zach is gone. Okay, JB. I was going to say JB is there. So we will have JB. Does it smell good? Does the knife smell good? You want to smell it? Um, JB, whenever you want to put a start on the screen, no, there's no nail polish. It's, I'm telling you, it's, <laughs> I'll turn the camera around in a few to say hello to you guys and you'll see. It's, it's, it's um, no hair, no makeup, no nothing kind of day. Okay, any kind All of, right. I'll just do it. When you guys see the start on the screen, we will give you the spread. I haven't given you the range yet. There it is. JB said start. One guess, one guess only. Your range is going to be 400 to 550. 400 yep. to 550. One guess only. Closest without going over, or it lands on it, is the winner. Craveful Panic. Holy shit. You want bald? Not that kind of no hair. Whoops. I'm going to put that back on there. I was trying to make it so you could see the 400 to 550. We never did do a pocket check today either. Doesn't change your beauty. Thank you, Marcos. That's very sweet. If I had to, I'd shave my head. It'd grow back, right? It's just hair. 
Mine never did. Well, yeah, sorry. 400 to 550. One guess only, please. Selamansky. Well, yeah, why you can play Selamansky. Like I said, if you get another one, then we just put it in with the other one that you just sent me an address to get it out. Spider monkey in my pocket. Ooh, you nice. mean the knife, though, right? Because an actual spider monkey sounds uncomfortable. I'd put a spider monkey in my pocket. They're cute. Is that a spider monkey in your pocket? You'd be glad to see me. I was just shaving. Shaving go my head in the shower. So you six, just shaved six, your six, head bald? 69. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Hollywood. It would actually grow back much healthier, laughing out. I think that's a fact. Laughing out loud. could be wrong, though. So I just had a lot of hair fall out, but it's growing back. And much healthier. Yeah, I have to start wearing hats in the summer because I don't have enough actual hair to protect my poor little scalp anymore. Oh, I would a flying squirrel. So we have flying squirrels at my parents' house, and they we used to watch them because they would go back and forth through the trees up there, and that was actually pretty cool. Thank you, JB. So Manny got it. Ego Anton speaks. Got Hello, it. Anton. I did not see you come in. Well, you guys have better chances now because there was forty-seven. Now it says thirty-eight. So 39. well, now it says thirty-nine. Good thing you have a new hat in the mail, Peter. Yes, Peter, it's a good thing I have a new hat in the mail. Hush up, you. No, you hush up. Okay, I'm hushed up. You know I'm gonna wear it. <sighs> they used to spell spider monkey, sell spider monkeys at the back of comic books. Wow. <laughs> that would be, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris, sorry, bud, you're just. In honor of Chris. Chris, we're doing a giveaway if you're interested. But the not... two knives on the table, not yeah. this one. Not the one I'm about to show, but between 400 and 550. We'll put Chris's Chris's knife up there for a little bit of a uh, color. We gotta have a pop of color up there. Right. Sea monkeys. Oh my God, I remember sea sea monkeys. Yeah, I do not want to have a sunburned head. I just get a hot head. All right. It looks like we're about wrapped mm. up. Uh, another couple of seconds, you guys, and um, I'll go ahead and, and or JB can put stop up on the screen, and then we'll go back and see who won these two cool knives. The AM4. Oh, Chris got his in. Oh, nice. 420. Nicely done. The AM4 and the Ontario Rat Model 2. Rat 2. R2 D2. Aw, David, that's so sweet. That is cool. I really love it when people do that. I've seen, I had a friend whose child actually got cancer and they shaved, their dad shaved their head with her and I thought that was really cool. All right, there's the stop. All right, you guys. And the pre written winning number. Are we going to show it or are we going to see who came close? Let's show it. All right. And the winning number is 495. So, so we're going to go back and take a look and see who was close or closest to. We have a 489. Oh, JB, you are so Just close. Just over. 487. Still 49 is the closest, huh? So far. 40. Oh, no, that's under 501. 481. 489. But it's 495. Right, but. So we're sticking with the 485. So what What was the name? No, the 489 is closer. That's what I'm saying. Who was the 49 so far? There's two of them. Knife Attic. There's two of them. There was Javon's Knife Attic Life and then go back down. Right there. Oh, D2. And Daniel. And D2, so. Hang on, but we're not done yet. I gotta go up to the top. So far we're seeing. Daniel and, yeah. Is it Jevin or Javon? So it looks like... All right, Javon and Daniel. You guys are the closest. Is that what you see, JB? One minute night for you. 49. Yeah. It's, yeah, who's on first, what's on second. So we're going to have to do runoff. Where's your pen? Farther than that. Yeah, he's got this. No, I'm just writing down names. And Daniel. D2. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to pick another number. So it is going between you two. John, John Evans, Evans had 49. 49. Where? Before the stop? Hang on, guys, we're looking. I do not see John Evans. 
Oh, Jay Evans and I got it. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, that's we said. Sorry, we've been saying Javon, but it's Jay Evans. Ah, it, look, Durr. I refuse to be held responsible for not being able to re read the way people put these names up on YouTube. <laughs> but there are two of you. Okay, so we are going to do um, John Evans and Daniel. We'll just use your names. We're going to do a spread. Let's do... Sure. Okay, your spread, you guys each pick a number. It's between 50 and 100. And go. Just you two, please. Hollywood, my name is also sometimes John Evans. Do, 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 do. You win being the coolest guy in the room. All right. Uh, Daniel comes in with a 74. 69. I'm sorry, I don't want to show that. Who who did it? Well, it's D, uh, Daniel said 74 and John Evans said 69. And you're at 72. Oh man. <laughs> Well, 74, going over. yeah, well, no, it was just closest two, and the closest two would actually be Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, so John would have missed it by what, 69, 70, yeah, he's off by three. Oh, my God, that was so close, you guys. So that is John Evans, J. Evans, Knife Addict Life, with number 69. Oh. And I'm going to, what you doing there? Oh, I was going to share a link for your email. But. J. Evans underscore, what was it? It's hey, John, just yeah. get a hold of me at Christine at Women Carry Knives. Daniel. Da oh, Daniel one. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Daniel, you, so you know how to reach us, bud. Get in touch with us. Yeah. Okay. I think we're done. You should please steal my number and I have a trademark on it. I'm John, but I identify as John. Oh my god. You guys are hilarious. Okay. All right. Get a hold of me at Christine at womencarryknives.com. Give me your address, Daniel, and we will get that out to you. Thank you guys so much for joining us today for a little bit of craziness. Um, like I said, it was a little bit crazy today. We had a lot of fun just kind of showing you some things and going kind of down the rabbit hole, but. That's what it's all about. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time, you guys. Thanks for joining us.